Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an increase in um, lemon peel stitch. So here I've done um, just straight across lemon peel stitch, and I ended with a single crochet here. So what I'm going to do, usually I would chain two, and then I would start with a double crochet. But here instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a single crochet. The way I remember how to do this is um, I always know that I, when doing an increase, I start with the stitch that I ended with and then if I'm doing just straight across, I um, start with the opposite of the stitch that I ended with. So here I'm going to start with a single crochet. And then I'm going to do a double crochet. And that is my increase on the end right there. And then my next stitch is a double crochet. So I'm going to do a single crochet into that. And then my next is a single crochet. So I'm going to do a double crochet into that. And I'm going to work the same pattern that I would work all the way down until I get to the end. And then we'll do another increase on the end. So again, I'm just going to keep working in the pattern of single crochet, double crochet, all the way until I get to the end. Alright, so I'm at my last stitch. So my last stitch is a single crochet. So I'm going to do one double crochet in this stitch. And then I'm going to do a single crochet in this stitch. And that is doing my increase at the end there. Now let's say, now this is going to be the confusing part here. So let's say I really need to do my increase or decrease. Um, in the middle here. So that's going to be a hard thing to do. So here what I'm going to do since I ended there with a single crochet I'm going to chain two. I'm going to do a double crochet in that first stitch and then I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and then double crochet and then single crochet and I'm going to do that down for a few so really you need to be able to do two in a row, like two increases or decreases in a row when you're doing this type of work. That way your stitches stay even all the way across. So here I'm doing a single crochet. So this next stitch is a double crochet stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and do my double crochet, but I'm going to do an increase also. I'm going to go ahead and do my double crochet in this stitch. And then I'm going to do a single crochet in this stitch. So now my next stitch right here is a double crochet. So normally I would work a single in that, but I've got a double right here. But I've got a single crochet actually right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another increase. So I'm going to go ahead and do a double crochet here. And then I'm going to do a single crochet here and that makes it come out even again. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my next stitch was a single so I'm going to go ahead and do a double and I'm going to work the pattern exactly the way I have been working it. And I think that's one of the hardest parts for me to figure out was how to do the increases in the middle of the project especially like if I'm going to make a hat or something like that a beanie then I'm going to want to do increases but I'm going to need to do it in the middle of the project not on just the sides because if I want to work a beanie in the round then it needs to be in the middle of the project so then again I'm just working all the way down And 
And that, folks, is how to do your increases on the sides and in the middle of your project when you're doing the lemon peel stitch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking, making any comments. And um, thanks for watching, guys, and happy hooking, everyone.